So let's continue now. The next thing that we are going to do is to create the authentication provider class. Okay, that's where all the authentication will be happening. So let's go back to authentication. Or oh, we need to create a new folder on the lib here. And then let's name this as providers. Okay. Here on the providers, we can uh, right click here and then create a new file. Let's name this as authentication provider. Authentication provider. So let's say authentication underscore provider dot dot. Okay. And then here, let's create your authentication provider class. So let's say class authentication provider extend change notifier provider, which comes from the uh, our provider package. Okay. So now here, let's uh, initialize uh, what we need here. So first of all, we're going to need the boolean, which checks if is uh, loading. So this will be initialized to false. And then let's have another boolean, which uh, checks if it's successful. Let's have a bool is successful, is successful. So this will be called to also be force initialized to force. And then let's also have a string of the UID that we are going to save. So let's say string. This should be nullable. So this will be our U, uh, UID. Let's name it as a UID like that. And then next, let's also save a string of a phone number, which can also be nullable string uh, phone number and then next uh, uh, we don't want to save a string of a name instead of saving a name only let's save a user model the entire user model so let's say user model which can also be nullable this one will also be the user model okay and then now let's get the getters for this. So get is loading. Copilot is assisting us already. Get is successful. Get UID. Get phone number. Get user model. Okay. Next, let's initialize Firebase. So let's say final Firebase auth. This one here. Let's go with uh, what Copilot is suggesting. Uh, this Firebase auth and then next it's a Firebase uh, Firestore final Firebase uh, Firestore this one Firestore and then next uh, let's see get the Firebase storage okay final Firebase Firebase storage this one uh, storage okay and then next now once we get all this initialization we can create the method now to sign in with the phone okay so let's put a comment sign in uh, with phone number okay so let's see uh, let's see what uh, Firebase will, I mean, what copilot, will, the what code copilot will give us here. So let's go down. So this is the copilot is code. You can see. So I'm just going ahead and click on tab and change what I need to change. Here. So let's click tab. So it's passing it's passing this code with the uh, build context so that it, it it can show the errors here once we have an error and then here you can see that it's setting let's start from the 
from the top so it's passing the phone number and the build context as required and then here once it's starting is setting the loading to true and then it's notifying the changes and then here now it says uh, auth dot verify phone number which is the, the exact thing that it's supposed to do and then it puts the phone number it's put the credentials so once uh, this is signed in it's getting that uid from this value here and then putting the uid to the uid that we have put here so now we have the uid and then also it's getting the phone number from the signed in credentials then putting it to our phone number which is correct and then now it's also setting the is successful to true and then is loading loading also to false so this has been successful logged in and then the loading now is stopped and then it notifies the changes and then here what it does is on verification fail it sets the is successful to false and then it also stops loading then it shows the error message like this okay and then now on code send here what is happening is it's uh, setting the loading to false and then it's it's telling us with the toast message here that uh, uh, the code is sent okay which is good so here when we reach here what we want to do is uh to navigate okay to navigate from this screen to go now to the otp screen to enter the otp screen okay so everything here looks fine this code is uh, done correctly is working what we can do now here is uh let's see what error is bringing here so it's saying use const with a construct to improve performance so here it wants us to use the constant keyword here okay like that so what we can do here first this scaffold messenger here the sh showing of a snack bar we are using it here here and uh, using it here and here and there will be more classes uh, where we will be using it okay so this one let's create a separate uh, method that we can reuse every time we want to use it okay so let's come here on the maybe utility here let's right click and then create a new file let's call this as a global global methods or oh, let's just say yeah global methods is fine global methods dot that so in here let's create the show snack bar show snack bar method okay so uh show show snack snack bar let's see what uh copilot will do so here is a method so let's let's go ahead and uh, click on tab so we just need to import this and then we have there so we have the context and then we have the message that we send and then we are going to return this uh, snack bar okay so what we will do is we don't need the duration here let's remove this duration okay so here we are going to this when we call this method we are just going to show this snack bar whenever we are calling it okay so instead of now so we are just going to call show snack bar in back in our authentication you see that it's the same thing here okay so instead of doing this here we don't want to show the snack bar because we want to navigate to the uh, OTP screen. So here, let's say navigate to OTP screen. Okay, so copilot knows. And then here, what we need to do here is just to call our method uh, show snack bar. Show snack bar. And then we are going to put the message here, which comes from this e dot message e dot message so what so let's say e to string like that and then just like that so now 
we are showing this every time we want to show a snack bar we are just going to be calling this method so that's it and then what else now what can we do now we just need to go to this screen and then call our sign in uh, with phone number so here what we're gonna do is to print print uh, let's say navigating to otp screen okay let's close it like that so this will be our method to sign in with phone number and then now let's go back to the login screen so back in our login screen first of all we need to watch what's happening inside the provider okay so to do that let's come back here and then up here let's say uh, we can either wrap this inside the consumer widget which comes from the provider or we can just say context oh uh, let's come back let's say final auth let's call it as auth provider auth provider yeah that one and then you know that copilot already knows what we want so it brings it up so let's remove all of these in front we just want to call it like this auth provider so we can either say provider like this and then import it provider dot of context and then auth auth this should be authentication provider authentication provider is the one that we have okay provider dot of this and then context and then here now we can also say listen to force if we don't want to listen to changes or we can leave it like that or we can just say listen to true okay we can either call it like this or we can call it like the way i like to call it it's a context dot read authentication provider so this read is the same like we said the uh, listen to force if we say context dot watch now we are watching for every changes that is happening here okay so this is what we want we want to watch so now here on the why we are watching on on top because we want to be changing what's happening to this icon okay so here on this uh, inkwell remember on the what's that the suffix icon here here where we are showing this child as a as a container here first we if uh, the this is is uh, greater than nine we are showing this and then else we are showing now so here before we are we show this let's also check okay so here we'll check if auth provider dot if auth provider dot it's is loading we want to show a circular progress a circular progress indicator else that's when we will show this okay we can bring it down okay so whenever we have clicked and it has started loading we are going to show a circular progress indicator here okay and then in the else we are going to show this button so that we can click on it okay and then now let's create now the method to communicate to this method to sign sign in the user with a phone okay so if we come back to the login screen here we need to call that method okay so let's say auth provider dot sign in with phone number okay so now here let's close that the context we are passing this context and then the phone number so the phone number you know that we need to pass the complete phone number so this will be inside the string and then let's have a dollar sign and then here after this let's put the brackets like that 
and then we are going to select the selected country selected country dot phone code this and then after that we'll get another one here the dollar sign and the brackets we're going to get the selected country uh, sorry not the selected country here we need to get the phone number controller phone number controller dot text okay and then remember we need to add the plus sign here like that okay so now that let's minimize this a bit and then this is how we are going to call this method okay let's uh, go ahead and uh, save so that this reformat let's save so you can see that now if we tap here we are going to call this method okay so let's change this to sign in with phone with phone number all right and then for all of this to work we need to call our provider now inside the uh, the main dot dot okay so let's go inside the main dot dot and then up here where we are calling the here on the my app we need to bring this down first and then here now let's call multiple uh, we say multi uh, multi provider like that and then now we need to add the providers here so let's make a list of the providers here so the, the first one uh, not this one so you've seen that uh, copilot already knows that we have the authentication provider so let's go ahead and click tab so this authentication provider we have but this chat provider we don't have yet so let's remove that and then we have to remove these two and then this child it's, it's, it's this so we have to put another closing bracket down here yeah let's close one more and then we are we are good so because this my app now is a child of this uh, multi provider so let's go ahead and put some uh, commas here we need to put a comma inside here and then uh, let's uh, import this all right so now uh, this one is done let's go ahead and save so don't forget to add that provider here in our main dot dot on our run up so this part is done the, the only part now remaining is uh, we need to go back now to our browser and then enable the phone login I mean the phone login provider okay so let's go back to our browser let's minimize and then let's go back to our application so here we need to go on a build and then authentication let's minimize that then let's create get started uh, here let's uh, click on the phone then let's enable it then let's put some testing phone numbers here so i'm going to click this arrow here and then i'm going to put my test phone numbers here okay so let's say 20 uh, mine is going to be plus 26 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay and then for the code i'm just going to put 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay then i'm going to click add so that one is added so it says the phone number is disabled let's go back and edit again so let's enable it then let's come here so that number is added and then let's save great now we have enabled the phone number so what we have to do is let's go back to the application 
then bring that up now let's see if uh, this will work so let's stop the application and run it again So the application is running let's see let's go to authentication and then let's check in our authentication provider so if everything goes well we need to print this in navigating navigating to op screen otp screen okay so let's bring up the logs and then let's enter our phone number that we entered in first oh which is zero one two three four six seven eight nine Let's go ahead and click here so we can see that we have a loading which we need to fix and then so that it, it loads within this. Okay, so that thing is done and then we have this print statement here navigating to O2P screen which means this part is done. Okay, the sign in with phone is done. We are even getting up to here. Okay, so thank you guys and i uh, see you in the next video so in the next video you need to come back to the login screen and then also maybe we can do it just now before we get there let's wrap this inside the padding okay and then let's add the const modifier here then remove it from here and here okay so yeah thank you and see you in the next video